Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 45 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today we've got the Season 5 Transfer Special, the very start of Season 5. Really looking forward to it. Uh, no webcam today because I'm, I'm feeling like death. I'm recording this on Boxing Day. Um had a very very bu busy christmas uh, day you know trying to to make the most of the one day uh relaxed restrictions and all of that so i do feel like a mess today um and i only had half a glass of prosecco because i did a lot of driving yesterday um more than 6 hours worth of driving actually so uh, yeah, forgive me for not wanting to have the the camera on me today, but uh, I thought we'd we'd still do the uh, the transfer special. I was tempted to just leave it out, um, but as last year, I've done the the first part of the transfer window today. We're just gonna uh, play up to and include. Well, probably won't play at uh, the Tottenham match today, but uh, yeah, I, I have made a, a couple of signings. So, uh, without further ado, we will talk about that. Make sure, by the way, that you hit the thumbs up button if you are enjoying the series. It's the single uh, biggest thing that you can do to help out the channel uh, and help new people find it, like yourself, that might enjoy the content. Uh, it really increases our, our chances of, of, uh, of getting... Uh, you know, put onto the the YouTube recommended a page, which which would be awesome. So, I really would appreciate that. So you can see we've already made three signings this summer. Then, uh, we've already sold uh, Sachek. By the way, he went for thirteen and a half million to Newcastle United. I think that was a a good little deal. I know he's he's worth a bit more than that, but uh, actually, with the way he performed last season, we made six and a half million profit on him. I, I'm pretty happy with that. But first signing of the season, Aiden Hazard for five million pound from Real Madrid another one of those players that uh, apparently is is pretty uh, rubbish these days but looking at his stats he's still very very good sorry attributes uh, looking at his attributes he, he's still uh, very good in, in in the key areas to play in these positions that he usually uh, would play in um didn't play too much for Real Madrid last season, but was a key player for them the three seasons before that. And as we found with Jamie Vardy, uh, you know, he's not meant to be a good player anymore. But for £5 million and, and, and not paying too much in wages, only 45000 he's only expected to be a squad player. So, hey, if he doesn't even play a match this year, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, this guy, uh, obviously yesterday we had the uh, Europa Conference League final um, against PSV and Carlson was, uh, was, a, was a highlight for them, uh, scoring two goals in that uh, Europa Conference League. He can play uh, on either wing or he can play up front and uh, actually last season he scored 36 goals in 45 appearances uh, for them, 16 in the Europa Conference League, uh, 20 goals in, in the league. So I think this guy could be really, really good. Uh, we signed him for 15 million. You know, that's that's pennies for, for somebody of his quality. Uh, it could go up to 23 million eventually, but uh, we'll see. I think he's a, a, fa a fabulous player. Uh, he's still quite young as well, only 25 years old. I, I love a good Swedish player as well. Uh, I think they they are uh, really really uh, top quality. So, uh, and then this uh, third sign in here, eight and a half million for Joe Willock, uh, twenty four year old Englishman, centre of the park, of course. And uh, look at those attributes. You know, a lot of them are, are, are fifteen or above, which is awesome. Uh, he's a well-known player. He's he's not been capped by England yet, but for eight and a half million, I really don't think he can complain. He's actually played pretty well for Arsenal. Had a very good season in their title-winning season a couple of seasons ago. Uh, last season didn't get too much of a chance, so uh, certainly looking to give him an opportunity in the first team this year. We've got a few transfers uh, in, in the works uh, at the moment, so. 
Uh, on the ins, uh, you can see Harry Maguire. We've offered him a contract, 6.25 million. Uh, could go up to 18.25 uh, million in the future. Uh, but that would be uh, a very, very good good signing, uh, I think, anyway. You know, he, he had a very good season uh, for us in the Premier League last year. Actually had five assists as well. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think, you know, if we can get him in for, for 18 million or whatever, that would be very good. We've also offered a contract to Jorginho uh, Wijnaldum from Juventus. Uh, he's just been released and joined them in uh, 2021 on a 38.5 million uh, pound deal and he had three very good seasons at Juventus so I, I you know I think this would be this the sort of sign and that could uh, take our midfield to the next level um, he is still a very very good player should be considered a good Premier League player and and you know we know Wijnaldum's uh, qualities and he can play anyway uh, either on the wing or through the centre uh, Deli Ali is another one that uh, I'm looking to bring in uh, this season on loan. Uh, you, you know I like a good loan signing now and again, and uh, you know he's he's done all right in his seasons in, uh, in football so far. He can play anywhere down the middle. He can also play wide if needed. So you know I think the perfect sort of player to bring in on loan. Uh, James Madison, uh, he is, a, a, as you know, a fantastic player uh, from Leicester City. Some excellent attributes. Um, and, uh, you know, we've offered him a contract. He's worth £54 million these days. He's had a, a really good couple of seasons at Leicester. So uh, I think, he, you know, again, he could be a player that takes us to the next level. Uh, we're also uh, trying to buy uh, Mana Solomon. Who apparently is a five-star player, um, but we shall see uh, what 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 he's like. He is a leading uh, Premier League prospect. He has played pretty well for Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, he has had a bid from Man United um, made for him as well. So we'll just have to see on that one. And Jeremy Borger um, from Sassuolo. Uh, we have been able uh, to bid for him for thirteen and a half million. Lazio have also put in a bid for him, but uh, these are some really top quality signings that we could have um, in in the in the pipeline uh, over the next few weeks. We've still got thirty odd million in the transfer budget, so hopefully we'll be able to afford all of that. And uh, I'm looking to sell some players as well. But there you go, Deli Ali is ready to come, so we will confirm that. I think that is a, uh, a good sign and actually uh, in on loan. So we'll see how he gets on and uh, I'll catch you guys if we make any more signings. So here we go then. A possibility to sign uh, Jeremy Borger here. Uh, he is described as an elite winger. Um, so definitely somebody I want uh, to keep an eye on. I think there are more important signings though. So I am going to delay that uh, just until we've got other signings in. If we can still afford them, that's somebody I want to bring in. Well, here we go then with uh, Harry Maguire. He is coming in. I think that's uh, an excellent signing for us. So let's uh, accept that one um, because he is a commanding centre-back. He did really well for us last season. So I'm looking forward to working with him again. And, <coughs> pardon me, uh, you can see we have had a, an offer for Solomon accepted as well, um, who is a potential five-star player, um, which would be absolutely amazing. So we'll see if he comes in in a tickety-tock. Well, here we go then. Uh, James Madison, midfield orchestrator, apparently. Um, he is set to sign for us, which is awesome. Uh, so we're going to bring him in and uh, let's have a, a quick look straight away. Uh, wow, look at that. Four star already. And uh, Neymar apparently is uh, unimpressed about how we stripped him of the vice captaincy. Don't think Neymar's expecting anything, but oh dear. Yeah, because we had to make uh, James Madison the vice captain. So that won't make Neymar very happy, but uh, he's not made me very happy recently. Well, a player that wants to leave, uh, Jack Grealish, £60 million has come in from Juventus. I think it, it's definitely something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept. Uh, simply because Jack Grealish... Uh, his contract does uh, expire in a year. You know, he he had a great season last year. 
but I think I think the time has has come to say goodbye to, to Jack Grealish for sixty million pound. Um, we can invest that, you know, in in uh, in a better. Well, we already have got better players at the club now uh, than Jack Grealish, so he may well be on his way, Mister Aston Villa. Um, and we'll be saying goodbye to him hopefully very soon for £60 million. There you go then. Jack Grealish is gone. Uh, the Mr. Mister Mr. Aston Villa, £60 million he's gone for. I think... You know, I think it's it's definitely worth um worth it worth it for us. It, it, his contract didn't have long on it. it. Only had a year. He was unhappy at the club. I think. I think it's the right decision in the end. Uh, you know, I think he was a great player, but uh, not nothing we we could do about it in the end. And that's just the way it goes. And. You know, he, he he had an excellent career at Aston Villa. He's been a, an instrumental player for us over the last four seasons. And he will be missed. He definitely will be missed. But uh, he will be welcome back any day. And, uh, you know, I, I, I do... <laughs> I do hope that uh, he, he, you know, goes to the next level at Juventus, and and you know this sixty million pound will most definitely come in handy for us. We've uh, put in an offer for Christian Eriksen, uh, another player that can come in and and replace Jack Grealish on loan uh, from Paris Saint Germain. I think uh, you know again, I think that could be an excellent signing for us if if we can get him an, on loan. So yeah, I'll keep you guys in the loop of signings that we could make. Well, here's a, another great sign, and I'm really looking forward to, to working with Jordan Henderson. He's 34 years old now, but still a fabulous player. Four-star, uh, could be a four-and-a-half-star ability player. Uh, went to Paris Saint-Germain for £34.5 million a couple of years ago. He's had two good seasons for one of Europe's best clubs. He's going to come in, um, probably re replace the captaincy of uh, Jack Wilshire, to be honest with you, um, and hopefully... Uh, he will be a great player for us. And here's another loan sign. And uh, Kepa Ariza Balaga. Uh, no idea how to say his name. But he is coming in on loan to uh, fight for places with um, Emiliano Martinez in goal. Chelsea transfer listed him. I'm very happy to try and bring him in on loan. Uh, we're not paying much for it. We're just paying for his wages, which uh, I think is the best best thing to, to go for is contract expires at the end of the season so we'll we'll keep an eye on that but he has been listed because he hasn't got long to run on his contract so yeah let's bring him in and uh, hopefully Martinez will be all right I mean he's he said Kepa um you know coming into the club concerns him but if it concerns him then he needs to man up basically well, we've brought in another young player. Ethan Laird is coming in. Uh, he can play on the right or the left uh, of defence. Um, can also play as wing back as well if we need him. Uh, did all right um, at Southampton last season on loan. Has had a loan spell at QPR in the past. Has played some first team football for Man United to a uh, decent level of success. So definitely happy with signing him. He does uh, fit our sort of policy um, of signing under 23 players and uh, he can certainly improve in the future. So a nice young English player to bring in and uh, looking forward to uh, using him this season. Well, quite a sad one to end the window. Bertrand Traore, the hero of the end of season four, who scored a 95th minute goal to get us into the Champions League. Unfortunately, he has gone for £32.5 million. It could raise to £36 million in the future. I just think with with all of the, the quality players that we've brought in, I couldn't find a way to keep him in the team and, and to justify rejecting a 30-odd a million pound 
fee for this guy. He's been amazing. He's been a wonderful servant. He's never quite found the heights of season one with the team when he scored 20 goals in 38 appearances. He's never quite hit those heights again, but he has had some heroic moments over the last uh, four seasons for us, and he will always be a player in my heart and and you know i i i loved uh you know having this guy in the squad and he, he was great he could play anywhere that you wanted him to play um but he has he has gone now for uh 32 and a half million which i think is a good deal for us uh, i really do um you know and, and we've now we've now got 80 million back in the kitty and uh you know that's something uh, to be really proud of, that we've come out of this uh, transfer window where we've spent a load of money, and we're you know we're going to make a profit, or we we've spent as much as as we've brought in. Uh, Ericsson has come to the club, uh, just to let you know, three and a half star player, and in order to make room for him uh, in the registration, uh, I had to let go of somebody, and unfortunately that somebody had to be. Bertrand Traore but uh, yeah a couple of days left of the, the, the transfer special um, well I don't actually think there's there's any time I think we are heading into our first match of the season and we are so uh, why don't we actually pick our first uh, 11 of the season right here right now uh, in front of you guys after that wonderful transfer window so Emiliano Martinez as always will step up in goal he will be my first choice keeper, certainly uh, for the first part of the season. If if Kepa comes in and performs really well, uh, then potentially we'll look at that. But Martinez is going to start, uh, as I think he deserves to, as uh, our number one goalkeeper. He is a, a fantastic, experienced goalkeeper. He's not uh, world-class uh, like... Um, Kep has described, but I think he's he's just as good... Uh, as him, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, at right back, uh, we're going to have Max Ahrens. He's going to be at right back. Uh, came into his own last season. Uh, seven assists and a goal. Played the most amount of games he's, he's ever played for us. Uh, stayed injury free and hopefully he can do that again this season. Uh, Valentin Antov uh, may well come in for his debut. He's a, he's a really, really good player, uh, got good tackling uh, attributes, but I think it's going to be, of course, Eric Bailly, who uh, has improved a, a lot as a player for us over the last couple of years. So Eric Bailly will be coming into defence. Who's going to be his partner, though? Is it going to be record signing Gabriel, or is it going to be Harry Maguire? Uh, Nelson, Victor Nelson is a very good player. Um... Or is it going to be Valentin Antov for his debut? You know what? I'm going to go for it. Valentin Antov is going to come in for his debut today. Uh, who's going to play at left back? I think it could well be Ethan Laird who comes in. Um, because Brandon Williams is injured. So Ethan Laird is going to come in at left back. Um, looks like he can play there effectively. Uh, I'll just have a little look at his attributes. Yeah, look, looks like this, this should be a good position for him. Uh, and then the midfield. This is going to be uh, the, the, the toughest decisions that we have to make, you would have to say. Uh, and, of course, I think Jordan Henderson has to be one of them in there. So he's going to play in there as a, a DLP, maybe. We'll, we'll just have a little look at the sort of things he can do. Um, what about Mazala? Hang on. Um, let's have a look at Mazala. That's the one we we like to go for, but his uh, attributes don't really play off on that one. But deep line playmaker, very very good. So I think we we want him to be a DLP in this year's team on support. And then alongside him, who do we go for? I think it has to be Jimmy Madison. I think it's gonna gonna be Jimmy Madison. He's gonna play there. Uh, I don't usually like playing two um, playmakers, and therefore I might well put uh, him as a Mazala on attack. 
and uh, hopefully he can support the team going forward. I think that, that looks like a very good partnership there. Um, then who have we got? So right winger. Uh, normally it'll be Carlson. Unfortunately, he's just picked up an injury, so he won't be there for this first match. What about Hazard? Can he play there? No, apparently not. Who could, oh, you know we've just got rid of uh, we've just got rid of Bertrand Traore. I mean Shakiri, he he had an excellent season there last season, so I bring him in. We don't want the whole team to be new. Uh, Neymar, of course, one of the first team names on the team sheet. He goes in there, and then I think Ollie Watkins and well Calvert Lewin. Uh, it's not fully fit, so I might go for Jamie Vardy up top as a as a pressing forward. So Jamie Vardy, uh, at the age of thirty seven, will be playing in this first game. Uh, he is a poacher now, apparently, rather than a pressing forward. Um, let's just have a little look. Yeah, I guess his pace, strength, letting him down there. But poacher, go on then. We will let him be a poacher. And we'll see how he gets on. Uh, <laughs> in in the middle of his thirty seventh year uh, on this on this planet, can he hit the heights of last season? I think it would be very very impressive if he managed it. But uh, we'll give him a go. We'll see. We'll see what he can pull off. So that's going to be the first eleven at least uh, on this uh, first. Well, in this first match, and we'll see how how the team get on in the next episode. So. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe for daily football manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.